Hey, what's going on? JD here. And today we are going to do the final review of the Nike Super Rep cycling shoes. These are Nike's first cycling shoes that they have made in quite some time. Uh, we did the unboxing and the installation of the Look Delta cleats for the Peloton bike. Uh, the link for that video is down below, as well as we also did a video uh, where we gave some impressions at the, about the thousand kilometer mark, uh, where we did the uh, SPD cleats. So I rode about 5,000 kilometers on these shoes, so I have spent a good amount of time riding in these. I will give you my overall impressions, some things that I really like, some things that I don't like, and whether or not I think, you know, uh, these shoes are something that you should look at if you are looking for a new pair of cycling shoes. So we are just going to jump right in it. Uh, so first off, I do have the SPD cleats installed. If we take a look at the soles, uh, you can see, you know, there is some wear. You can see, you know, walking in the grass. There's actually grass in the cleats there. They stood up fairly well outside, you know, sort of these anti-slip portions of the shoes you know they have done fine not a lot of wear uh, maybe in the back corners here a little bit and that's kind of one of the things that I don't like about this shoe is number one is that the anti-slip are non-replaceable uh, on a lot of cycling shoes when you get into especially better pairs uh, you can replace these as they wear out because they will absolutely do that unfortunately uh, with the Nike you can't do that so once these anti-slip nodules sort of wear down and I don't know if you can see there's sort of like an angle here and a bit of a crack in the corner, you're not going to be able to replace these. And, I, and, I, and I've had these for about a year. Now, I replace my cycling shoes fairly often, but you know, some of you may be looking at it as kind of a pair of shoes that you will ride for a very, very long time. And just know that you cannot uh, switch those out, which kind of brings me to the next thing. They are great because they do have the three and two bolt patterns, which is good because not all cycling studios have the same cleat system. So if you live in a city and you go to a spin studio, you might have something like the SPD cleats. You might move, you might switch gyms, in which case they might utilize something like the three bolt systems, like a lot of the gyms do here in my city. So things like the Look Kio are quite popular, as well as for the Peloton, the Look Delta cleats, uh, you are able to switch back and forth. Now, you know, one of the interesting things is it gives you that that flexibility, and that is definitely a positive. Uh, when it comes to the SPD cleats, uh, one of the things that I don't like is that if you are going to wear this to a gym and you're going to do cycling classes and maybe you want to lift some weights, unlike a lot of other SPD shoes where this cleat is recessed, you won't be able to do it. Uh, you'll be crunching around, so you won't be able to go do a workout. Now, you know, a lot of people would probably switch shoes anyway, so that might not be a deal killer, but ultimately at the end of the day, just be known, unlike a lot of SPD cleats that are out there, these are not recessed, so you will crunch around. When I was walking around, when I was going, you know, to go to the coffee shop, I would crunch or grab something to drink out of a store to fuel up, I would sort of crunch around. So that is another thing to be aware of. But you know, what these shoes do is definitely shine in the comfort department. They are very, very comfortable shoes. They have a great deal of breathability. And you know, if you are inside doing spin classes, or if you're inside on your Peloton, or even if you are on a bike on a bike trainer, you know, there is huge breathability. Anybody that trains inside knows uh, that you get heated very fast because you don't have the wind, you know, to cool you off. And even with fans, it can get super hot. And I tell you, these things are absolutely fantastic in terms of breathability. You know, the ventilation, I would say, is really kind of second to none. And uh, they are great for that. Every 
everything from, you know, the very perforated insoles. Uh, if you take a look inside of these, you know, the sole is actually quite vented as well. You can see the vents go all the way through here, which is a lot more venting than you will see in a lot of other cycling shoes. However, all this venting that is in the bottom here causes one kind of big problem, and this is my major beef with this shoe, is that it is just, and you can see it when I bend it, it is flexible. It is super flexible. Uh, if you have ridden any kind of cycling shoe uh, with any kind of stiffness, if you have ever cycled with carbon soles, you are probably going to hate this shoe. Uh, because when you get up and you lay down power, you can feel that flex. I can feel, and I don't know if you can see sort of right in this area here, that it starts to flex already just when I'm bending in the sole there. So, I mean, if you are a bigger rider or if you put down some serious wattage, uh, these shoes will probably not be your favorite. Now, that being said, it, it's a trade-off. It's It depends on what you want. You know, if you're working out and you're working out casually and you are just, you know, going there, uh, throwing down some spin classes, having a good time, jamming out, uh, you want to be comfortable and, you know, you're not concerned about these things or you've never really ridden a cycling shoe, these are probably going to be fine. In fact, you know, as far as comfort goes, again, they are, you know, super comfortable shoes. I, you know, when I put them on, they felt really great. And I tell you, if they had a stiff sole, I would love these like no other. Because ultimately, there are no real other faults with this shoe. You know, uh, minus the tracks and studs, uh, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, it's not recessed. And, you know, the uppers might be a little soft for my liking. But at the end of the day, you know, they are super breathable and they are super comfortable. So, you know, when you go to buy cycling shoes, you have to really have an honest conversation with yourself and, you know, think whether or not, you know, you are going to get these shoes because of, you know, the comfort or if you want to get into something else because of performance, because, you know, you can't really have both, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, Nike has done a really good job of, uh, you know, making a super comfortable shoe. You know, I think if they had just extended this plate out and, you know, attached it to the back, there might have been a little more rigidity in the shoe. But unfortunately, they didn't do that. You know, this uh, sole here is, is nylon and anybody that has had cycling shoes that have had a nylon shank will know that uh, this flexibility thing will just kind of increase over time and eventually it will get to a point where it will be almost like a walking shoe. But that being said, you know, uh, they are, you know, very fashionable. Uh, a lot of people will like them. Fans of Nike will absolutely uh, love these shoes just because uh, they know they're coming, you know, from the brand that they love. Uh, it, they come in three colors. I have the black and orange here. They also come in, uh, you know, the always fast white and then they have a third color now it is a cyber bright mango uh, which is a little on the offensive side for me but you know some people love to flash it up so at $120 US or $160 Canadian are these shoes worth it I would say absolutely uh, you know they're at a decent price point you know, at that level of shoe, that level of price, you're not going to get necessarily all the features that you want. You know, the strapping as far as being secure, you know, has been fantastic. I have ridden these outside. I've ridden these inside. I have had no issues uh, with that whatsoever. Uh, they have worn will really well. Uh, like I said, I've put, you know, close to 5,000 kilometers on these shoes and you can see they are in good condition and like I said they've been worn outside and I've walked around them and they have been great now as far as an outdoor shoe goes uh, if you are somewhere where it is hot 
uh, and that, you know, you need the ventilation. They will be good. If you live in Canada like me, these are definitely not cold weather uh, kind of shoes because this, you know, the mesh here, you're just going to freeze your feet. There's just too much ventilation. Uh, for anybody who's done any kind of winter riding will know that you will block off things like your vents just to, you know, kind of keep your feet that little bit warmer. That's not going to happen with these shoes. So if you were just buying one single pair of shoes, you know, that is also something to consider. You know, uh, they are fairly lightweight. They weigh in at 544 grams without cleats. They're not the heaviest shoe in the world. They are definitely not the lightest shoe in the world. Uh, if you are from the Peloton world, uh, they are definitely lighter than the Peloton shoes by a good bit, you know. And again, you know, uh, for a recreational user where comfort is the most important thing, you know, these shoes will be a good fit for your user. Now, at the same sort of price range, uh, you can look at something like a Physique Tempo Power Strap, uh, which would also be a very comfortable shoe, uh, maybe not as well ventilated uh, for a little bit more money. If you wanted something that was very ventilated, uh, you could get the Arrowweave from Physique, which would be very comparable, actually, uh, to how it feels uh, with the cooling properties. And you would gain the benefit of a carbon shank, but you are looking at a much more expensive shoe. So ultimately, at the end of the day, that is the Nike Super Rep Cycling Shoe. Uh, you know, I can recommend this shoe, you know, it has been good. It has worn well. I have had no issues, no issues with the stitching, anything along those lines. You know, again, the pros are absolutely comfortable. Uh, you have flexibility in which kind of cleat system you have. So if you are switching studios or switching bikes, you do have the option to go from two and three fold compatible systems. Uh, the ventilation is, you know, like I said, it is a superior ventilated shoe. You are going to keep cool and that is important, especially in a studio setting. Uh, again, the major disadvantage here is the sole, the sole stiffness. It just isn't there. Uh, the uppers don't have, you know, quite the support of something like a, you know, leather or, you know, a synthetic leather. Uh, the traction studs are non-replaceable. And, you know, I, again, you know, just my little beef with the SPD, you know, it would be nice to, if you were going to use these specifically because I think these really are studio shoes. Uh, people have asked me, you know, whether or not you can use them outside. You absolutely can. But, you know, at the end of the day, they really are studio shoes. And I kind of wish they had them where they had different options where you could, you know, buy just an SPD version where you could actually use them and work out afterwards because the cleat is recessed. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. As always, remember, smash that like button, that bell button so you get the notifications and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions on these shoes or anything that I may have missed, please do ask me a question in the comments below I am more than happy to answer whatever questions you have on these shoes and until next time see you